Welcome to Development Dynamics with Maxi. It's a new season bringing you inspiring conversations that spur social change. And this time around, you're privileged to be hosted at Uluwazi Place, which is at Kirawa Road in Kitusuru. They have lovely facilities for your conferencing and also for your leisure. Please check them out. Check us out right here. Lovely, lovely amenities. And um, in this particular series, I, um, I've been looking forward to hosting this particular individual. We go way back. So I met her at, well, her and I were both working at a university context, uh, helping young people with, their, with choices about their life. And uh, for many years, obviously, she's worked as, um, uh, with, with uh, different organizations, with governments, with uh, INGOs, with uh, parastatals, also with uh, uh, parachurch organizations, and um, also with, particularly with communities. And today she's here to talk about her development journey, as well as, as, well as her life, and how all of this culminates into what her... Uh, her future also potentially holds. Um, currently, she's buying for woman rep in, in, from the county that uh, she hails from, Muranga. And um, beyond all of that, she's a mother of two. And uh, as of now, <laughs> and as, as we know, uh, a wife to one, and that is yours truly. So she's my wife. And so that's why this is a hot seat because she's Mrs. Gitau, AKA Beth Waidera Mburu Kibinda. <laughs> and so over to you, wife. <laughs> this is an interesting it's, conversation. <laughs> I know, in, in the spirit of uh, submitting, thank you very much, my husband. <laughs> I hope I'm allowed to roll my eyes. That's my <coughs> default setting. But thank you. Thank you. I must say it's been interesting seeing this uh, journey come to fusion. The wonderful guests that you have hosted. Um, yeah, so it's, it's really it's an honor to be on this side uh, to share experiences, but also just to, yeah, to see you in this uh, new life. Caribou to development dynamics. Oh my gosh, thanks. <laughs> oh, we are serious in this. Show. The guys who have all said have been very serious. So I no. think we need to draw a boundary for <laughs> how it looks like. No, uh, let's, we, we yeah. are here to have, we have, um, we have nice conversations, honest, nice, easy conversations, demystifying um, life, demystifi demystifying development, also humanizing life and development. And um, I think you're one of the people when when we met, we we met talking about life and what life looks like. And at the time, obviously, in the context that we met, um, part of how what part of the many conversations we were having was the, what you were pursuing at the time and what I was pursuing all was in the context of development. Mm -hmm. So a lot of what our journey has looked like has been in that in that realm. So we've both seen each other in that realm, um, and therefore, even as you say, kudos to this, kudos to you for championing this, but also kudos to you for being you in the <laughs> context of uh, development. I've seen and learned from you uh, perhaps a lot more in the context of development than anyone else, uh, and just seeing what you are doing now is. Um, is, is very interesting but <clears throat> mm -hmm. that's what we are here to, to to hear to unpack to unpack mm -hmm. it's your story today mm -hmm. so um you <laughs> no, like stories you, we, mm, uh, i love stories you love stories <laughs> and 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 um and i'm eager to hear a lot of them from you today starting with perhaps your very origins Oh my goodness. And today I know I learned a lot. Uh, today I'm not wearing <laughs> a heart of assumption. I know there are many things I know about you, obviously, being your husband. But there is a lot more that I am willing to learn. And just be um, uh, a flyer, a fly in the wall. A student. A student. Yeah. yeah. So, oh my gosh, we finish each other's sentences. <laughs> if, <laughs> if, if, if I end up asking questions that uh, you think are, I'm, I'm, I'm dotting, I'm not dotting. I, I truly want to learn and mm -hmm. also have our, our audience learn about you and about what it takes actually to be, to be you. You know, you are, you are, um, you are an inspiration to many. So, 
um let's let's take it back from the origins from from where you hail from and who is where does Waithera mm. come from hey Waithera is a blend of uh, an or a fusion mm -hmm. of a very rich culture right both paternal and maternal right. very Every time I look at my family tree or I can trace it mm -hmm. or I hear names that are associated to to us, mm -hmm. I become excited and I really want to know like where are you from? Mm -hmm. where, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'll, my paternal side mm -hmm. or, or let me say my, my, my maternal side mm -hmm. um, is a rich heritage of um, a guy called uh, Moratha. Right. and uh, has continued and continued um <laughs> it was so funny discovering that there's a road in kangemi yongo road mm. and those are all our relas mm. you know so mm. close because mm. also my maternal grandfather was called reverend yongo mm -hmm. and uh, they moved from kangemi and uh, relocated to gidongori mm -hmm. um my great grandparents mm -hmm were originally from uh, Ukambani mm. and on then your, on my paternal side right, right. and uh, somehow migrated and came to central province. So are we saying you're a cucumber? I'm a cucumber, mm -hmm. yes, I'm mm -hmm. a cucumber. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but the interesting thing is mm. it took me 40 years to understand a deep meaning of my name. Mm -hmm. Somehow my life is not about years or months. Mm -hmm. I always find myself talk about my life about in seasons. Mm -hmm. Little did I know until someone pointed it out on my 40th birthday mm -hmm. that uh, not after my 40th but my 40th year mm -hmm. after a tragic event mm -hmm. that actually my name means seasons. Mm -hmm. So I'm um, basically where there Kibinda leave my colonial name alone. <laughs> that <laughs> you call it I colonial. So it's my colonial <laughs> name. My English, it's not an English you name. Stick to you that. Know, I'll stick to mm -hmm. my to that which now has to surface because of uh places that I'm getting into. So mm. uh the Kamba people have a name called Kivinda. Mm -hmm. But when they moved to Moranga, mm. uh Kikus don't have the V. Mm. So they call them Kefida. But that's phonetics mm. uh, because in Kikuyu we don't have the letter F. Mm -hmm. Where there's an F, the, the letter written is B. B. So right. I'm therefore Waithera Kibinda. Mm -hmm. But when I go to Mashinani, I'm Waithera Kefida. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then my Waithera, the mm. IRA, has a heart. Mm -hmm. So it's not Waidira, it is Waidira. Mm -hmm. uh, it's yeah, mm -hmm. those cute phonetics. Mm -hmm. But the name Kivinda mm -hmm. actually means seasons, mm -hmm. and which will translate to Kikuyu meaning mm -hmm. Ihida, mm -hmm. you know, a moment, a, a time, season. a season. Mm -hmm. So when they, I was literally, I felt like I'd seen floodlights. For mm -hmm. oh my God, I now understand why I see my life in mm -hmm. seasons mm -hmm. and not months, not days, mm -hmm. not. You know, and people around me will always hear, uh, tell you that I will say, in this season, mm. in this season, this season. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we live out to our names. And mm. I think one wise thing that you do not contest was how we're going to name our children. Mm. <laughs> mm. Uh, though the, the forces that might be could not understand. Mm. But there's something deep about mm. naming. Mm. So I've embraced now my name mm. more strongly mm. to, to understand the pockets of seasons, of seasons. that I step in mm. and I do. Mm. So I'm also very, I'll not call it religious, mm. but I'm a deep Christian, mm. if there's anything like that. Mm -hmm. uh, because on both sides, mm -hmm. uh, we embrace Christianity at mm. an early uh, mm. time. Mm -hmm. uh, so much so that my grandparents on both sides mm. have donated land to build church mm -hmm. and uh, have been active in the community. So mm -hmm. I easily picked that up. Mm. I think it was in my DNA, mm. but I'm sure we'll have doctors here to demystify <laughs> my, mm. my theories. Mm. And uh, just a season, a space mm -hmm. where we love people. Mm. I remember my father would would uh, be angry at mm. his mother because mm. never at one time mm. did her three stones jiko mm. go off. Mm. 24 hours mm. yes so there's eragi mm. there is uji mm. there's as in if a stranger is passing by you'll be sure mm. that kwawai mm. vira there is mm. something to eat mm -hmm. or drink mm. and then come later to realize my father embraced that mm. uh we've been in conflict sometimes mm. when <laughs> i've mm. had to have like people because mm. i feel yeah mm. it's safety you mm. know 
and uh, but yeah people have always been part of my life mm. uh, but people also helping them as they help me mm. move to the next level mm. I'm a, i think you've realized that i'm a person who always ask questions mm. and that sometimes gets me into a lot of trouble mm. but just to understand an individual more. Mm. so mm. that's about uh, where origins. i come from yeah, yeah. the origin mm. and then um my mother had a great plan mm. to get married to this tall dark and handsome gentleman not the other way around <laughs> oh not the other way around is oh. is it not the your dad who had a plan to get married to no my mother actually she oh. knew so oh. and later they realized that even me kumbe had a plan mm. so <laughs> nature selection <laughs> so yeah. she comes to nairobi you know yeah. we say you come to nairobi two ways yeah. by bus or by bus uh-huh. <laughs> so, she came to nairobi by, ba- by she bus she came to nairobi by bus yeah and so did her boyfriend then yeah. met at work they yeah. used to work at the city council it's so funny that even their ids are a number apart oh, dear. when they took oh, ids so okay. um it, it was it was interesting mm. uh, so came met mm. uh got married mm. and uh January 3rd a Saturday mm. uh, 1981 mm. in the afternoon mm. she gave birth to me mm. and <laughs> it was hectic because the health system at the time mm. was terrible mm-hmm. so my mother's best friend is called Mama Shiko mm-hmm. and they were pregnant at the same time so it's like welcome me and they are told each other mm. so Shiko comes 31st December 1980 oh man and i come January 3rd mm. 1981 so mm. their plan was for us to be, be born, born at the same time. Oh my. So you yeah, are literally two days apart. Yeah, Mama yeah. Shiko had to go through us yes mm. at the great uh, King George Hospital mm. <laughs> which is now, now Kenyatta. Kenyatta Hospital. Yeah. And then mom had to labor mm. for like those two days mm. uh, before I came. Mm-hmm. Um and that now brings me I I realize where I embrace a lot of maternal health conversation mm-hmm. because of uh, just how she was handled mm-hmm. and something better would have been done. Mm-hmm. But hey, I'm here mm-hmm. alive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and after that um 1983 mm-hmm. uh God bless them with my brother, mm-hmm. he's the comedian of the family mm-hmm. like we all uh, keep quiet, mm-hmm. super choleric, very creative. Mm-hmm. And then after that my sister came. Mm-hmm. I, so I confuse is it 89 or 88 I'm never sure those mm-hmm. they were too close mm. she came in december mm. uh fascinating mm. go getter mm. uh adventurous mm. uh, my sister modon is one who will pack a bag mm. and do mm. aha i made it to uganda and <laughs> so off. i'm off yeah. there yeah mm. it was even my brother will just joke and say we only know you're around when we see that you're around mm. then came the genius of the family mm. Um Thiongo, mm-hmm. my brother uh Thiongo mm-hmm. and um I remember clearly the day that he came home mm-hmm. and the first thing my small sister did at the time because she was really tiny was open up um uh, the the what is it called it's not a wrapper what is it called that thing the swaddle yeah and to check if he literally had five fingers I mean uh, ten fingers Ten toes, mm. and I realized in the maternal space that's, that's a very important, important thing. Yeah, yeah, you know, I was so Super fascinated important. by that, oh, and she had the instinct it, at the time it, to know. Yeah, to, yeah, 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 because you couldn't imagine this little person, mm. and that's one. Every time I think about my brother mm. and my sister, that mm. picture always comes to mind because mm. he came home in the afternoon. Mm. Um I remember we went to school that day and I was traumatized like my mother went to hospital mm. I don't know and then just to hear that um, mm. my brother came mm. so I always say if my parents got a fifth child mm. that would have even found the cure of so many diseases because <laughs> they left the intelligence like this you know <laughs> I feel they were bright brighter brightest <laughs> so yeah so that's our family and mm. each are pursuing different things mm. i'm grateful for the parenting that we had to mm. just be adventurous mm. wherever mm. you want to be mm. and mm. yeah that's a small from something i need to mention mm-hmm. is that my mother is an only child mm-hmm. and my father has only one sister mm. but i came to realize that my grandmother probably had many more children on your, like 13 on, on my paternal mm-hmm. side mm-hmm. 
like maybe 13 children wow. but just because of they were not advanced in health mm. there was a uh, conflict mm -hmm. Uh, they never got to like five years of age oh. and so either my grandfather was in at war mm. or coming to find a hassle in mm. the city mm. so actually the gap between my aunt mm. and my father is really huge maybe 15 mm. years mm. Um, but that's it so that's our close-knit family mm. so I really treasure mm. authentic uh, familyhood mm. is a word like that mm. And so if you are miss calling anyone uncle or aunt, mm. and either because I honor them or I respect them. Mm. So I've learned a lot about a close-knit family mm. Mm. from my family. Just because of the constitution of what yeah. you've yeah. grown up saying. Yeah. All mm. right. What, let's, let's go back now to a, a bit about your childhood. Mm.